Welcome back, everybody. A little bit more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're playing Namrong Bay, one of the downloadable courses. Uh, we're going to play the Inward 9 with our custom clubs as part of our series looking at um, the DLC courses. I've played them with standard clubs. Now we're going to play them with the, uh, the big boys clubs and see how different an experience it is. So, just in case you've missed this, I've got some custom clubs that are level 21. Um, which kind of makes it a bit more more of a challenge, less of a challenge. I don't know what the term is. Uh, more challenging in some ways, less challenging in others. Um, but we'll see. So we've got a bit of a, a cross headwind here. So I'm going to aim about there. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of shape on it. And see what we can do. Now this may end up in the water. Because that's a really oh, tight three to get to. There's not a lot of fairway. Oh, that's going to get wet. Oh, just about stays on the fairway. Wow. Wow. So 50 yards to go. And a bit of blind luck and ignorance. But, you know, I'll take it. So, little bit of, little bit of crosswind. Again, can we run it up is the question. It's mega cups. Which way is the ground running when you get it, when you get it down there? So it is running a little bit left to right. Okay, let's have a go. So what we're trying to do is sort of pitch it up and see if we can get it to run at the hole. Ah, uh, no, no, blow the hip. But there you go, ten foot away. For a birdie. For a birdie, so maybe half a cup. It's a mega cup, remember? So that's quite a break. No, we just missed that. Just missed it. Just relax. That's good advice, Suzuki. You should relax. Not a great start. Pretty good. You shouldn't be two putting with the mega cups, really. You should be single putting. But again, I didn't get close enough. It's a par four. So we're left in par four into the teeth of the wind. Oh, I'm definitely going to need some shape on this. So let's go the one word. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we've got a bit of room. So what we're going to try and do is bend it around that rock. So we're going to go right and left and we've got a bit further oh, good shot. because we've got the headwind. The question is, did I do enough? So where's that coming like? Oh, the rock. Wow. Look at the gauge closely. Okay, so I'm in all sorts of trouble here. I'm almost tempted to take an unplayable. I don't think I've got a valid shot. No, I don't. I think you just you just take the unplayable. Well, that's not really a lot better. But at least I've got a shot. So again, we're going to try and bend it round. I think the last time I was just short. That was the problem. But we're on. We're on for three. So we get a par putt. 16 foot par putt. But it's mega cups. It's a par par start. Yeah, pretty good. He's just pretty good when it's a par. No. There are some good pars to be had, but it's not a good par. So again, par three, crosswind. Look at where that pin is. That's a tricky pin. That's just a tricky pin. Okay, so what we might do is just try and hold this up into the wind as well. So what we've done is we tried to bend it left to right, and that should straighten it up a bit, like that. And we're into the heart of the green. I think attacking the pin there with that wind, just inviting trouble. So 25 footer, it's a bit of a Looks kick like on the way, up. and it's significantly uphill. Now is that even enough power? Yes. Go on. Oh my days. Focus. It's not even the diameter of a ball short. So it was, again, three well parts. I mean, that uh, that's a better oh, part. Good. And admittedly, the tee shot was not great, but the putt was good. So here we are, level par. It's a par five. With mega cups. I'm embarrassed. Um, yeah, so I played this hole last time. Now, what you can do here... There's a fair bit of wind. Is you've got to you've got to hook it. So you you've got to play there to get there because you've got to bend it round. You can't hit through that gap. The the rock is too high. So what we're gonna do? 
we're gonna go down right, up left. Power shot on. Gotta hit this. And we got the ultra spin. Great shot. So we got ultra top and side spin. Kells really nicely round the rock. With a bit of luck, that's up in contention for a decent, a decent drive. I'll take that. Okay. So. Tailwind. Going to kick a little bit right. Just because of the, the lie. It's a little bit uphill. Probably over pitched it. We've got the ultra backspin on it. Assuming we're not out the back of the green. It might Champion. stop and grip. Oh, go on. This has got a chance. This has got a chance. Ugh. Not far away. Oh, for the eagle. But five foot for the eagle is never something to complain about. And here's where we get this. Here's where we get this round back on track. That was a good eagle. Two good shots, followed by a nice easy pump. That's what you want to see. Hole 14. It's a par four. It's 14. Lots of water. Lots of little undulations and kicks and little. Little now again, tempting you to drive at the green. Tempting you. The problem here is, let's say you pitch a little bit short, you're going to end up in that little corner of water there. Very tempting. So what we're going to do, we're going to drive there, but we're going to play it with a bit of side spin. So down right, up left. We've got a bit of side spin on it, just to kind of give us a better angle as we roll. Oh, unlucky. Give it some uh, that's going to have to be an unplayable. It's going to have to be. Sadly. Where's it going to put me? Okay, going to put me there. Ah, uh, That's the problem if you miss it. So again, maybe chip and roll time. See what we can do. We're going to play it past the hole. A bit of top spin on it. With a bit of luck. Oh, not quite, not quite. Just not enough power. Be proud. Just relax. Yeah. And again, it's that first shot. That's what did me. You even You end up in the water. Take an unplayable. What can you do? <laughs> that eagle looks incongruous, doesn't it? Pa pa pa. Eagle pa. So fifteen. Oh, now this is interesting. Look at where you end up. That little choke point there. You haven't quite got enough to drive that. But you'd look at it, wouldn't you? And it's just saying, hit me, hit me. Okay, so let's try it. Now that rock's definitely in the way. And you've got two choices. And I think the option is you bend it left to right. I think that's what you do. Okay, let's go for it. So this one's clearly set up with those custom clubs in mind and just thinking about what would make it really tricky, really tricky with the custom clubs. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. So 45 to go. Bit of a bit of a weird little lie. Wind's going to take it right. It's going to pitch right. Again, let's see what we can do. Can we get it close? Great shot! Oh, I think we can. Get in there! Chipping eagle. Oh, nice shot! I'll take it. So, our scorecard now looks utterly ridiculous. It's pars and eagles and not a birdie in sight. And a 45 yard from behind. chipping eagle. Okay. So, 16. Tailwind. Par 3. Wow. This could be tricky. So, two issues here. One is we need to take some power off it, but we don't want to take enough off it that we land on that fairway. We want to grip it. So it's definitely backspin time. From maybe there. And then the ultra backspin with a bit of luck will bring us back. No, it just bounded on, didn't it? Need to be even shorter. Hard to get super close there. For the birdie. So, birdie pup. Maybe right edge. No, maybe Wait, half right. Left. Maybe half right. Let's just play it there. And I'll take my birdie. Thank you very much. So, we finally get a birdie. 
seven holes in. Actually got a birdie on the card. And we got a four five finish. It's a par four. So seventeen's par four. Now we're into the win this time. Okay. So again. What I might do is play it a little bit left to right just to give us a thicker bit of the fairway as we approach it. So we're gonna go down right, up left. Got the super spin. See the blue marker. With a bit of luck, that will miss the little bit of water land on the fur. Just pitched in the rough, but we'll roll up. Whoa, 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 so we just gotta thwack it and hope. Oh yeah, down on power there. Still in the water. Yeah. Let's turn the approach off. And the one time you don't want the ultra backspin to work. And again, you can see the importance of your first shot. You've just got to put your first shot in the right bloody place. Chip and roll. See if we can get it in. A chip in par. But it's all about that first shot. It just rolled too far. And that was the that was the mistake. Last one. So hole 18. It's a par five. Again, we're downwind. Oh, again, that's a little. It's a tricky little spot, isn't it? Can I just blast it now? I'll clip that rock. I'll clip that rock. Right, do you know what? We're going to go for it. That it ventured. Can we actually get it oh, need through? Shot. I think we can. All about where it lands. Oh, just, just, just on the fairway. It's 135 to go. A little bit uphill, bit of tailwind. Got the ultra spin on it. Master voice. Where's it gonna land? It's on the green. That'll stop at least. Come back a little bit. It's okay. Don't let the eagle slip. Okay, so pretty even break. Eases up a bit. But it's one of these downhill parts. You really can't hit it. Because it'll just keep going, keep going. Yeah, it's just going to roll past. Ah, disappointing pup. Go for the birdie. But we've got the birdie pup. Back up the hill. There we go. It's a six under. I mean, there were some mistakes in there. But again, it, it kind of brings out, even when you've got the massive clubs, this is a tough course. You've got to really think about where you're going to land that first shot. Get it on the fairway. Because you can see the consequence. Particularly that that those water zones just suck all the power and precision out of your shot. So a little bit disappointing, but again, we learn, you know, it, it reinforces some of the lessons we've learned, even with mega cups. You know, you just can't make mistakes. Will my golf level go down is the interesting debate here. Nice bikes. Now we've got the polo shirt, lovely. Well, if you enjoyed that, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of your Billy's Golf.